Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Erlengrot. It is midwinter, and that means it is time to sell. To sell a boatload of crops. First, we've got to care to our animals. We've got to do our morning feeding. A late getting out here today because of the snow. Let's say this is now the most snow that I have seen here on Erlengrant. Last winter we really didn't have that much snow. Still got a little snow coming through the roof. And uh, we have seen a marketed drop off in milk production by our cows and well that is because Fair bit of them are now, uh, well, with calf. And uh, they're going to be having babies soon, which are going to grow. Um, we're going to expand our pop population over here at the calving shed. We're also going to need to have to get rid of the, uh, the males. Make a little bit of room. this but uh, yeah we're gonna have slow going this morning with the deepening snow tell you last year we got we got some snow last year but not a whole lot uh, this year on the other hand uh, we've definitely doubled our Snowfall accumulations from last year. Last year we got basically one layer of snow at any one point in time. Never were able to, uh, we never had the tire tracks come up. Whereas this year we can definitely see our tire tracks in the snow, which means that we have at least two layers. And we've been going through the straw pretty good. About five bales a day is our burn rate on straw. Burn rate on hay has been anywhere between two and four bales. It really depends on our sheep. Sheep are good. Uh, I think we're going to go through probably two loads of TMR today. We're going to have to see. And straw, we're putting about two straw bales down for each of the cow sheds. Gone ahead and oops, gone ahead and replaced the one straw bale stack, round bale stack with a square bale stack, so that uh, when we do get around to bailing straw next year, we will uh, be putting bale squares in and as a result of using straw we have an overabundance of manure
think in my season's gameplays, I really haven't experienced snow too terrible much. A lot of that was because we played on Emerald Coast for a while. And Emerald Coast, of course, is in Florida, in the U.S., where snow is a very rare thing indeed. So the Geo uh, really didn't really facilitate snowfall. In fact, the coolest it ever really got during winter was, was like in the 50s. As far as ground temp goes. Then we went over to South Island Farm, Tropical Island. But again, no real chance of snow there. That's going to take care of our straw for the day, probably. We might put some straw up for our pigs. We'll just have to see where they are. Let's just take a look here at them. Uh, I think they can probably do with what they have for now. The sheep are good. They don't need any hay. Some of these uh, straw harvest bales seems like they don't want to fork as well. Moving the squares around will be a lot easier too. Once we get to that. It's gonna be another thing is uh, cleaning the uh, they're in the animal trough areas of snow up for the pigs and sheep. While this is unloading, let me uh, let me show you where we are with respect to our cows and uh, their reproductive cycles how many uh, male calves we have so we've got five calves over here in this pen we really need to move at some point male there and I think there might be a male down here yep. two male calves three females but if we take a look here at our older cows we got one we got several that are going to be calving in the next uh yeah, month or so seasonal transition so we're at 136 in our calf building I think I made that 200 so we've got a little bit of way to grow on that of course we had 136 calves out of our 150 cows over the last year so we are going to probably fill that to capacity and uh, need to do something 
Probably by next summer. We might need to put down another building. And if we do put down another building, I'm figuring we're probably going to have to uh, carve a little bit out of this field to, uh, to put it down. Just to keep it kind of close. That's okay. We're sitting at $222,000. And, uh, well, we're going to be sitting really, really pretty, I think, when it comes time to, uh, to get these prop sold off later today. mess up from our cattle which is about two bucket loads of silage 1800 liters of silage fed back into our mixing wagon if this doesn't accumulate any snow on the way up here that running I think her chickens are all right chickens are going okay still have a bale there so we're not cleaning any of that up I need to come in here with uh, plow and clear this out. Just trying to make some room so we can clear the food trough of the pigs. I did go and bring 60,000 liters of pig food over from the pig food mixer. You can see where we re, uh, reworked our silos, put in, took the, uh, took the two silos out, put in the expansion silos instead. This is pretty much a daily occurrence. Uh, I think we're probably going to need to give them a second 
bucket load. Yeah, we're a little bit out of sync because I accidentally fed them wheat instead of pig food. But uh, if we get their food area filled, uh, then that will uh, kind of reset everything. That is close enough. I'm going down the hill. Let's go down the hill sideways. It's don't fall on our tail. Get a little cold. Let's run over here to our tractor. this thing mixed up run over here to this cow pin first I have a feeling that we're going to have to mix up a second batch. I don't want to have this one topped off. It's like coming out of there. Watch out. So we've gone ahead and uh, can't tell because the snow is on the field, but we have gone ahead and applied uh, manure and digestate to both of the sunflower fields because they will be our corn fields next year. Topped off. So we will. Whoa. We'll come back later today and mix up another round of uh, mixed rations. Now let's get up here and uh, figure out what are we going to sell first? Are we going to sell our corn off or our wheat? I was looking at prices before I left the house this morning, and uh, well, it looks like, like our best bet is going to be. Guess what? Fells burn a grain mill. For both wheat and corn. So this is going to make selling a lot easier. Still have our narrows on there. Dang on it. Uh, we want to cover. We're only 
probably going to need to make uh, like six trips. Three, six, well, four trips, four, five, six, seven. Oh no! Eight trips. I blame the narrow tires. Come down that hill. Lid. Let's head on over to the uh, transfer station and uh, Get all of our grain loaded up, and then we can grab the train and uh, sell it off. We're going to go to this one right here because it is right next to the farm. How convenient is that? Got it coming out the grain door because I don't want to tip it up super high. And I guess I could tip out the side. That might go a little bit faster. So let me go ahead and get our corn hauled over here. Get our wheat hauled over here. And uh, flag down the train. And uh, we'll see how much money we make. And we'll see what kind of land we can buy. Be right back. I was able to wrangle up the train. Going into the station now. We've got ourselves three rail cars. So let's just see if um, we can get all of our grain in these rail cars or not. I think I think these big ones hold 120. We might have a little left over. To uh, have to make a couple trips. We'll have to see. Prices are holding good. 538 and 459 are starting to drop, so we need to get this. Grain sold off. We've held back just about 2,000 liters of wheat for our chickens. Chickens use about 4,000 liters a year. So I figured, uh, well, pulling back about 2,000 would be pretty darn good. But that's only going to hold 90,000. Okay. Let's see what the rear one holds. Wish there were more cars on this train. Ninety thousand on that one too. I 
rear door. We'll load the rest of our wheat up in the open car. All right, let's see what we get. For all of our wheat and 90,000 liters of corn, we still have 35,000 liters of corn left to sell. Pulling through the station. It'll be interesting to see in the next farm sim uh, how people use these assets. All right, here we go. Yes, please do. 107 thousand dollars. Nice. So we're at 329 thousand buckaroos. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy field. Let's see what's in field seven. Uh, field seven has wheat. Let's go ahead and buy that. 156 thousand dollars gonna get field 20 so there we go so now we've got canola and wheat added to our land base over winter I want to see I want to see if we can't take soil samples in frozen ground. We might not be able to. Uh, I know we really can't do any field work with frozen ground, but I'll see if we can't do soil samples over frozen ground. And, uh, well, other than caring for our animals, <laughs> there isn't much going on uh, during winter. So see you guys in the springtime. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.